we're going to talk about GPS offsets on the implement. So we'll go to the implement tab and we're going to highlight our turbo chopper and we're going to go into implement offsets. So here you can go ahead and change the forward or, or rearward distance from the hitch point and you can also change if that system is uh, off to the left or the right just a little bit. Um, typically your implements aren't going to be they're going to be centered. They're not going to be, you know, either left or right when they're offset. However, a couple times I've ran into some grain drills where some people turn too short, bent the tongue, and the drill actually trailers about a foot to the left or a foot to the right. If that is the case and you have an implement that tends to trail to one side or the other, or it's just designed to be wider on one side than the other, you can account for that right here. So you would go in and you would tell it that it is exactly one foot or whatever the measurement is wider on the right hand side of the implement. So that's saying it's wider on the right than it is on the left. So anytime you do guidance and you do your mapping, it's going to account for that implement being one foot wider on the right than it is on the left. You can also hit the advanced tab and you can set it up by section if you want. However, with this turbo chopper, we only have one section, so we'll have to demonstrate this later when we have a more complex setup. There's also a tab here that says hitch offset. And this is in case you have an implement that you're pulling behind the implement. So let's say that we had um, a packer behind our turbo chopper and we wanted to keep track of that as well. Well, you could measure the offset from the hitch of the front to the rear hitch and then that rear hitch would be our new hitch that the packer will follow. So it allows for you to carry or have dual implements as well and that's where you would set that up.